What's up guys, Rim here and I wanted to show you guys something that we're doing on our dually that you guys could relate to and you guys have been asking questions about. So let me show you guys this. This is our Superbank capacitor and it's not a battery. It looks like one, but it's actually a capacitor bank. This particular one is a group 48 size, which will drop right in place of our D4800, one of them uh, under the hood of our dually. It's 500 farads. We make them all the way up to 1500 and all the way down to 75 farads. So with this guy, I'm going to show you guys how to charge it, get it going. That way it's ready to drop in place of one of your factory batteries. We use it in a car audio situation. It's going to stabilize your voltage. Uh, this guy can deliver anywhere from zero amps up to 10,000 amps, depending on its state of charge. So let me show you how to charge it real quick. I wanted to give a shout out to Sean down at Radioactive Car Audio down in Maryville, Tennessee. He pushes so much excess power for us. I mean, his installs turn out fantastic, which hint, hint. Um, he's gonna be doing the install on this uh, Superbank for us because he's doing some other little things on our dually. So let's get this thing charged and then we'll take it down to Sean. So basically what you'll need is going to either be a excess power charger or another 12 volt source. We're gonna use a charger just because we have it here and it's ready. And you're gonna hook the positive of the charger to the positive of this little resistor right here. So you'll see it has two ends and a bulb. And basically what that does is that allows you to, if it'll focus, that'll allow you to hook the positive of the charger up and then the positive of the actual capacitor bank up. And this little resistor light will turn on. When it turns off, you'll know that the capacitor bank is fully charged and is ready to install. This little thing that nobody reads basically says that uh, you'll need to actually connect it because there's a lot of amps that can be stored in this little guy. So let's get it hooked up right now, I'll show you. So once you pop the little covers off, we'll come down here. It should already have the terminals on it. If not, they're gonna be included in the box. Uh, you'll already have a washer on there and I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. I'm going to fail miserably. All right, I'm just gonna connect it, hang on. Okay, a little stressful. So positive is connected to the capacitor bank and connected through the resistor to the positive of the charger up here. Negative is connected to the charger. So all you gotta do is plug it in and you can see that little light turned on. All you gotta do is wait for it to go off and it'll be good to go. All right, so 20 minutes later, Superbank is good to go. The charger cut off, so we went ahead and disconnected it. We got a date with Radioactive. We're gonna get this guy installed. So down here at Radioactive, got the truck, but check out this McLaren. Hold on. Hold on. Shoo. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Sean. Uh oh. Oh, hey, Remy. He's back. Okay. Yep. Yep. So got a. Got some stuff. Okay. So I want to swap out one of our batteries for a capacitor under the hood. Okay. And kind of want some lights. What do you think? What, what kind think? of lights? Like inside, outside? Kind of like underglow. Kind of oh, like. oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, we do a ton of those. We do the XK glows. There's a few different levels of them. Um, you might want to consider the alphas though. They're super bright. Uh, they come in both bar format and these little rock lights. They're you could they're so bright you could basically see them during the day. Um, yeah, man, we can make it glow. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hook me up. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> it's done, man. You're gonna love it. Come oh, check it out. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, she's yeah. lit. It's not recommended driving down the highway with it looking like that. If you want to choose a solid color, that's probably not an emergency color. Fair enough. Man, Everything went smooth. All four wheel wells, multiple bars in the front. And? And? and you can control it everything from your phone. And, uh, and of course, your subwoofer enclosure should be lit up the same way. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sean, I appreciate you. Of course, man. We'll be in touch for some more stuff. <laughs> All right, so we got the big girl back home. Don't mind the snow. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the Superbank actually installed. So with this setup right here on a dually, there should be no issues getting this thing started. So we've got our B4800 on this side over here. On these trucks, there's a control pack that sits on top of the actual battery itself. But with the Superbank, there's never going to be an issue of getting this thing started. The fact that it can actually discharge, meaning start your vehicle anywhere from 15,000 to 20,000 times, 
that's insane this battery will outlast the actual truck itself so now that we've got a good foundation on the truck as far as an electrical system we've got the system installed we need wheels on no i don't want to hear it we know if you guys want to do an upgrade similar to that to where you don't have to replace your battery on your diesel batteries on your diesel multiple times over the course of its life try superbank accesspowerbatteries.com